We're at the Morris Area FFA Kitty Barn at the Stevens County Fair. And my name's Caitlin Van Horn. This is Beth Holland. We're both members of the Morris Area FFA chapter, and today we have Grace and Colin with us. This year we decided to change up the kitty barn a little bit, and we wanted to show them what the process was about and how they got their food. So this year our alumni really helped out. They designed the barn. The whole point of this is to give kids a more educational experience and to give them a better background on where their food comes from and how it gets to them and what the farmers actually go through to get the food to them. Not a lot of kids know exactly where it comes from. Like they just walk into the restaurant and it's like, oh, the hamburger, there it is. But I mean, to know that it comes from a steer or a cow and just to learn about the process, I think it's very, very important to know where everything comes from and how hard people work and what it's just all about. Did you guys know what this is? Alfalfa. Alfalfa, yep. Do you know what they use it for? Uh, Alfalfa is something that farmers cut and make into hay bales for animals. You know what kind of animals eat this? Horses. Yeah, horses and cows sometimes yeah. too, yep. And over here are the kidney beans. Do you know what kidney beans are used for? What they are put in? Yeah, and chili, yep. Yeah. They use them for chili. Yeah. And then we're going to go see our friend over here. Her name is Sally the Sow, and she's got some piglets with her in her farrowing stall. Okay. Looks like right now they're nursing, aren't they? They look like happy piglets. Now we're going to go to the poultry barn. So in here, this is where like your chickens and your turkeys live. See how the eggs can roll out to the bottom? Yeah. I'm going to be a senior this year at Morris High School, and after high school, I plan on attending NDSU for agronomy and crop production science. I am going to be a sophomore. Um, right now, I'm thinking about either environmental engineering or being like a chemical engineer. I live on a grain farm. I'm fifth generation, and it's my dad and my grandpa and just my immediate family taking care of all our crops. My dad was in FFA, my older brother's in FFA, so I thought it was really cool to do, and so I started last year, and it's been a lot of fun. Okay, now we're All right, now we're going to the beef feed lot. In here, you have to feed the cattle one bag of corn. This is what the cows will eat. So you have hay and it's wet cake, and then you have silage, I know everything of this. What cake smells good? After college, I think I'd probably like to end up back on a farm. It's where I grew up, and it's in my blood. I've always wanted to be back on the farm. But if not, I'd be happy in probably about the same size town, but doing something with agronomy. I would definitely come back here. I love a small town atmosphere, and for sure. I would like to come back and be part of the alumni. I think that'd be cool. And it's just where I grew up, so I'd love to come back, yeah. I think agriculture is not something that people need to be worried about getting a job in. The economy is obviously affecting it, but there are still a lot of jobs open, I know, for almost, I think I had heard somewhere that agriculture has the highest number of job openings for, like, my generation, so I'm definitely not worried about finding a job or the economy at all. So in the market, this is where we sell all of our products. So can you put your stuff in the right bucket? This is what farmers do when they all of their stuff is ready to be sold. They come to the market and they sell it and they get their money. So when you get everything out of your buckets, you can get your check from Melanie. How much is it? $10. Now we're going to go to the grocery store. So this is where all of your products go after you sell them to the market. Okay. It's just even by coming to a county fair, you can learn so much more. And Coming through and walking through a kitty barn or something like this, I mean, they will learn more about the process themselves. If you're four or if you're 40 and you don't know anything about it, it's still good to come and learn about the process of where your stuff comes from, where your food comes from. 